Praise the Lord and welcome back to Jesus and Coffee. You guys, we have another Jesus and Coffee. And there is coffee in here. Usually I have like water. <laughs> but there is coffee because it's early. Well, I think it's that early. But, you know, I do things before. You know, you know how it goes. <laughs> but anyway, um, Jesus and Coffee, you guys, I was... This week, I was thinking like, okay, what do I talk about with my friends? What do I talk about with them? You know, like, Lord, like, give me something. I had one topic, and I was like, okay, and I was going to get the verses and everything and, and um, you know, talk about that topic because I've, I've taught that topic before, not on here, but um, in the church. Um, but then I was in prayer today, and, all, and the Lord was just like, you need to talk about how to be in a relationship with me, not me, the Lord. <laughs> so this is what this topic is going to be about. I do not have the Bible verses, but I will get the Bible, Bible, Bible verses for you. And that's only because it was just a few minutes ago when um, everything changed. Um, now, if you guys do not agree with me, that is okay. This is my opinion. This is the way I grow a relationship with God. And, you know, this is just how I, how me and God just connect, okay? And how my relationship grows, okay? You, everyone's relationship is different. There is not one that is the same. You cannot tell me that there is a relationship with God that your friend has that is the exact same as yours because it ain't. <laughs> but um, everyone's different. Everybody sees God differently. Um, and that is good because God is everything. God is supposed to be everything to us whenever we need us. But the way I grow my relationship with God you know okay first of all it's not that easy okay it's not that easy because it it calls for discipline you need to discipline yourself why because if you don't you won't grow your relationship at all there has to be time I if you guys have been following me for a while in my motivational Mondays in my vlogs I tell you guys, make time for God, like make time for him. Like 15 minutes isn't enough. I'm going to be straight up honest, but if you're barely, if you're in the beginning stages and you know, you, you want to get familiar. Okay. That's fine. But there's a time where you got to get out of that 15 minutes, you know, and you need to take like a good hour plus time with the Lord, whether it be praying, whether it be reading, whether it be both, um, whatever, you, whatever you're, you're doing to grow your relationship. But there's a time where you got to get out of those milk and cookies stages of your relationship because God is greater there. You, you're not going to spend 15 minutes with the person you want to marry a day there is that's just not it's not gonna work um so why I say that is because you have to get to know that person you have to know who that person is you have to get to know that person before you decide to marry them you have to know how they are who they are you know what they're about everything to get to know them you know to decide you know like like I, I really love this person. Not only not only a marriage, but in a, a friendship, you know. Um, you need to know who, who your friends are, obviously. And I know y'all spend more time with your friends than 15 minutes. <laughs> so I hope you guys have your cup of coffee or your cup of whatever I should have said in the beginning. <laughs> and just, you know, chill and let's let's just chat. So being said that <clears throat> we need my okay the way I grow my relationship with God is I I read about God I read his word you know I I read the Bible I read my own on my own 
I read my Bible plans. I have two, two Bible plans and the Bible plans, they're, they're different topics, but I also read on my own. And then I'm actually, me and Anthony, we've actually uh, started a Bible study. It was between us and now my mom, she's, she came in and she does a Bible study with us. So you're learning, we're learning, um, that way. And then I'm also getting to know God on my own, on my own time. And then, you know, I do my Bible plans, you know, so I, I spend time <clears throat> with God. Do I read my word every day? Yeah, probably if I miss a day, I miss a day, but, um, the majority of the time I do read my word. When is my time with God? My time with God is early, early in the morning. <laughs> okay, I don't start work until 7.30. And I get up at 6 o'clock. So 6 o'clock is my time with God. It's the time that I spend with Him in prayer. And the time that I spend with Him reading. That is my time. Is it easy to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning knowing that I can just roll out of bed, jump in the shower and get dressed and start my day at 7.30. No, it's not easy <laughs> because in my mind, I'm like, oh, I don't have to get out of bed. <laughs> but then I'm like, no, like I want to, I want to talk to God. Like I want to commune with God. I want to get to know him more. You know, sometimes I have things on my mind where I'm like, God, like I need to talk to you, you know, like I need your help or I just need to get things off my chest and <clears throat> And, you know, I was listening to this song and and it, it's called Most Beautiful. If you guys have not heard that song, please go hear it. Um, it's with Chandler Moore. And I think I think then their group is called Tribal or Tribe or something like that. Oh, that song is my jam right now. And on <clears throat> on the beginning, it says. Um, um, Dearest father. Dearest father. Yeah, dearest father, closest friend. And I'm the and I, you know, as I'm I'm listening, I'm worshiping, I'm like, like you are my closest friend. Like you're my closest friend. Like you know my thoughts. Sometimes my own husband don't know my thoughts, you know, and it's like you don't tell everybody everything. You don't tell even your closest friend, physical friend, you don't tell them everything. You know, there are some things that you you just keep to yourself, you know? And so I, I was thinking like, Lord, like you are my closest friend. Like, like, you know, my thoughts, you know what I'm thinking, you know? And, and you know, everything about me, you know, you know, when I'm uncomfortable, you know, when, when I'm happy, you know, when I'm sad, when, if I don't show it, you know, you know, everything about me, you know? And that's how, we should know God. Now, we're not going to know every single thing about God, but we we should get to the point where we know enough where we we we're like, "No, God God said this." You know, like God God said don't do this or God said do this, you know? And that is a relationship that that we need to grow in Christ, you know, to to build that relationship. And another thing that I I do want to put out there I remember a long time ago before I was serving the Lord. Hold on. Let me know your thoughts, but I'm going to tell you my thought and I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. <laughs> this is the truth. I remember on Facebook, I had asked a question. Um, is, is it okay? I don't know if I said, is it okay? But is it okay to just watch church on TV? Okay. So I got a lot of feedback from that. And I remember when my cousin said, oh yeah, it's, it's fine to watch, you know, church on TV. God's everywhere. You know, that's everyone's saying God is everywhere. Okay. God is everywhere. So you're watching, you're watching church on TV. And now because of the pandemic, everyone had to watch church on TV. But what happens after that? There's a difference, you guys. I'm telling you right now. There's a difference. You need to go to church, okay? <laughs> and I'm, I'm saying this with love, okay? Church, the four walls of your church, your home church, that's where the presence of God dwells. I'm not saying he don't dwell here. I'm not saying he don't dwell at your house. 
but God does something when you're in the house of the Lord, when you're worshiping with other, with other saints, you know, when, when the presence of God falls on that place, it's different. Okay. And I'm not saying that it can't happen at your home, but it, cause it can, cause I've seen it and it's been done, you know, here and, but but that's when, you know, we all gather, you know, and like when we would have life groups and stuff like that. God moves here too, you know, by ourselves, you know, in prayer. But it's just different because if you don't have, if you're not living a life of Christ and you're just watching church on Sunday and then you're out and you forget everything you just watched, if you don't have a relationship, then it it really, it really, it's not the same, you know. But if you have a relationship and you can watch church online because a lot of us have done it, um, then that's great. But you're yearning, because I know I, I have, you're yearning to go back to the house of the Lord because that's where church happens you know that's where god moves that's where where things happen you know and if you don't agree with me that is totally fine that is totally up to you but if those who don't agree with me because i i know that there's certain things circumstances that people have i'm not saying that i'm saying that if if you're one of those who just go to church on sunday and then do your thing the rest of the week those are the ones who, if you guys are saying like, no, you don't have to go to church. I want you guys to comment and let me know. Um, after church, after your on, online church or TV church, you know, how was your life after that? How was your relationship after that? You know, are you still in prayer? You know, do, do you, do you live a godly life after, after that? You know, because those of you who, who do live a godly life, who have a relationship with God, it can be easy. It can be easy, but sometimes it's not. You know, during this whole pandemic, um, there's some people who didn't go back to church, you know, after the churches are open. There are some people who did not go back to church. And it's it's kind of like, man, like, like I, I always mention this, like, who are you anchored to? You know, when, when the storms of life are raging, who are you anchored to? Where is your relationship with God? You know, um, when things like that happen, like the pandemic, you know, not, it is so easy not to go to church. I was telling Anthony the other day, actually, like, gosh, it is so easy. It is so easy to give up on God. It is so easy. And, and I'm, I can say that because I have, I'm a backslider, you know, and, you know, granted, I was young, I was a teenager, you know, but still like, I, I didn't have that guidance that I needed. Um, and it was so easy, you know, it, it's so easy to just say, forget it. Like, I'm not going to do this anymore. You know, so, and I was kind of thinking like, yeah, I felt kind of guilty, but as, as you'd stop going to church, um, because I stopped going to physical church, it was just so much easier to to just leave, you know. It, it just gets easier and easier, you know, to just leave. And then you just don't even think about it anymore. And then you're just doing whatever you want to do, you know. Um, but to, as an adult, I I think, I, I know you we know better, you know. And it's a decision, you know, that, that people make, you know. And, um but it, it all comes down to your relationship. I mean, if, if you're just saying like, I don't believe in God and that's my decision, then that's your decision and you leave, you leave the Lord. I mean, I don't know, but if you believe in God and you, you make that decision, um, you know, to, to not serve the Lord anymore. It's like, where, where was your relationship in the beginning? You know, like, did you stop, you know, getting to know who he was? Did, did you, um, you know, did you just stop? Because me as an adult, you know, I'm just talking. I'm probably all over the place, but I'm just talking, you know, like, like what happened that, that you stopped, you know, where, where was your relationship, you know, um, 
because you're not serving God anymore, you know, like, like what happened, you know, what happened, you know, because as an adult, I cannot see myself not serving God anymore. I can't. I mean, he's, he's been too good to me. He's done so much for me, you know, and I love him. I, I love serving, serving him. You know, he's, he's my everything. Like, I don't know what I would do without him. You know, I, I wish, sometimes I wish I never gave up serving God because I would just feel, I guess, more of a, a bond, I guess, more of a deeper relationship if I served him all those years, you know, but there was years, years, I think it was 18 years. It had been like, I think 18 years that I didn't serve the Lord, you know? So 18 years, I mean, a lot of things happen, you know, I would have never met Anthony, you know, I would have never, I would have never been where I'm at today, basically, if I didn't stop serving God, you know, I would be somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know, but God is good. And, you know, he, he is a forgiving God and that's who he is, you know, and I, I, let me know your, your thoughts, you know, let me know, know your thoughts. You know, I, I believe that, you know, we need church. I believe that's part of a relationship, you know, going to church. But like I said, discipline, discipline is a big factor because we, we need to discipline ourselves. It's, it we get lazy I, and you know, I can admit to it. Like sometimes I don't want to read, you know, sometimes I want to do something else. You know, sometimes I don't want to get up early in the morning and pray, but I do because, you know, I'm getting to know God more, you know, and that's who am I not to, to give him my time, you know, and you know, you, you do you when you're ready, you're ready. But don't wait. Like, God is just there, like, waiting for you. Like, he's like, I'm right here. Like, just talk to me. Like, take some time out of your day and talk to me. Build the relationship with me because I love you. This is what God is saying. Like, I love you. I'm here waiting for you. You know, and, you know, when when you need me, I'm there, you know, but, but, I, I still want to talk to you. You know, I, I want you to tell me everything that you're going through. I want to help you. You know, I, I want to love you, you know, and, and, and be there for you. And I want you to succeed and be successful, you know, but, but talk to me, make time for me, get to know me, you know, and that's what he tells us. Like, like get to know me, like I'm your father, you know? And for those of you have that have a relationship with your parents or those or those parents that have a relationship with your kid, I mean, imagine your child not talking to you. Imagine your child not talking to you the way you don't talk to God. So so basically what I'm saying is as much as time as you talk to God, if you talk to God on a daily or not, imagine your kid not talking to you that much, that much time that you spend your time with God. Do you understand? Do you get it? <laughs> I'm like tongue twisted. So if I had a child and my and I am and I didn't talk to God, imagine my child not talking to me. I'd be devastated. You know, like I took care of you. I I changed you. I worked, I bought you clothes. I put you to school and you know, and imagine your child not talking to you. Like yeah, we need to make time for God, you guys. But like I said, these are my opinions. This is the way I make time for God, you know. He is my priority. God is my priority. You need to make him your priority. And if if you want a relationship with him, he should be your your top priority. And and you know, I I believe that just getting to know who he is, you know, your relationship will grow and then you're just like you'll be hungry for him, you know, and, and you'll make more time and more time for God. And, and he's just good. He's overall good. And, and, you know, we can talk for hours, you know, about building a relationship with God, but those are, those are some things, you know, is, you know, you need to read your word. You need to pray. You need to discipline yourself and you need to go to church, you know, um, you need to go to church. That's 
that's just, that's it. You know, I, like I said, it's so easy to give up on God, you know, and especially, you know, when you're not going to church, you know, and you, you need that fellowship with people. You, you need that worship, you know, you need the presence of God and, and, and then after church, you know, just throughout your week, make your time, you know, make your time for him, you know, and, and you're watching this for a reason. You're watching because you want to know, you know, or if you don't want to know, you want to fight with me, <laughs> but you know, I'm not going to fight with you <laughs> because I love you, <clears throat> but those are my, those are my, um, little tips, you know, to grow, to start growing. And, you know, after that, oh, it gets, it gets better. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you guys next time. Don't forget, I will put some Bible verses in the description box and... Yeah, I believe that's it. So we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Jesus and Coffee. And we'll see you soon. Bye. God bless.